and welcome. We are in episode 15. <clears throat> We're in episode 15 of Alien Isolation. And um, if I remember correctly, we've just boarded the Anisadora. So we are no longer on Sevastopol. Um, that's, yeah, that's the ship we came in on. And I think I can run around because, as far as we're aware, there's no aliens on the Anisadora. So, uh, we are looking for Marlo, and I think Taylor is with him as well. Uh, and we're also looking for a way to... Well, we're not really looking for Marlo, are we? We're looking for a way to communicate with um, the Torrens to let them know we're okay. And... Uh, then we basically just want to find a way to get off of Sevastopol permanently. So that's locked. I guess we go this way. We think we may have broken our losing streak. We've barely been scraping a living the past couple of years, and the Anisadora is starting to look like the wrecks we salvage. Can't say the crew's been faring any better. Then, we found that flight recorder. It belongs to a ship, the Nostromo, Wayland yutani property. That means there'll be a reward. But then, Marlowe had an even better idea. Extrapolate the path of the flight recorder to try to find the wreck of the Nostromo. We got lucky found a distress signal, and now we're following it. This is it. I can feel it in my bones. He always said he'd do right by me. Ah, well, she turned out to be a bit wrong, didn't she? Okay. fuel. Excellent. Okay. <clears throat> what do we have here? Signal detected. Marlow. Heist says he's just picked up some kind of signal. I've got Lewis trying to decode it now. Could be the Nostromo. Want to come up and see for yourself? Technician's report. Technician's report. Uh... 10, 24, 21, 37. Uh, so that'll be um, the American way of doing the date. So 24th of October, 21, 37. Marlow, I just had to do some much needed work on the sublight engines. The old girl was complaining so loudly, I'm surprised something didn't fall off during the last jump. Everything's holding together for now, but she'll need a, few, uh, a full overhaul soon and not just for the core systems. We keep pushing her like this and we're going to end up being the only salvage crew hitchhiking through through deep space. It's going to be an expensive job, so let's hope you're right about that beacon. It could be our last chance for a decent paycheck. Anyway, I had to reset the door key code afterwards. The new one is 4510. Lewis. Okay, 4510. We're outside Sebastopol. Marlow and Foster woke up first. She looked terrible. Meeks and me are about to take a shuttle to the station. But well, this has got to break quarantine procedures, right? It's Marlow's ship. She's Marlow's wife. And things got heated. And Meeks got a bloody nose. So, I don't know. Maybe the doctors will give her the all clear and things can get to normal. But if they sniff it out when we get on board, I don't want any part of it. Marlow doesn't pay nearly enough for that kind of noise. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, 45 turn. Right. Restart generator. Restart generator, okay.
Oops. I didn't do that very well. Basic power systems back online. Doors should be open. Hopefully, some light. Still no sign of Marlo. Hey, Ripley. Welcome to the Isadora. Marlo? Where are you, Marlo? Thanks for switching the power back on. You saved me a job. I only needed it offline temporarily. I had some things to fix. Okay. Um, I mean, surely there isn't really any reason. Maybe you want to join my crew. Uh, Plenty of free spots. Ripley, Marlow double crossed me. He said he'd give me all the data he had on the creature so I could take it to the company, but he. Taylor? Taylor! Marlow, what are you doing? What no one else seems prepared to do. Come find me, Ripley. I got something for you. I mean, is there any reason why he, uh, oh shit. Okay, is there any reason why, why we need to be enemies with him? I mean, surely he must realize that we've got a better chance of success if we all just work together. Oh, have I really only got one bullet for that? Oh dear, okay. Okay, so there was a face hugger on board. That can't be good. Um, that means either an egg must have gotten on board somehow, or been brought on board, or the face hugger just managed to get on board somehow. Um, I mean that I suppose it could be the one that um impregnated the uh I can't think of her name, but the girl from the Anisadora that was the first one to be infected. But I thought um I thought the facehuggers died after they'd uh done their thing. Maybe not. Okay, Sevastopol. Uh, whatever it was that attached itself to Foster... Oh, that was her name, Foster. Whatever attached itself to Foster is dead. I found it on the floor by her bed, all curled up like a spider. Foster said she felt fine, but I insisted on putting her into hypersleep. That thing must have done something to her, but maybe I can slow the process. Sevastopol's the nearest station, so I'm going to get her checked out. Quarantine will be a problem, but I figure the Nostromo flight recorder may be the ticket in. Whatever we have to do. Okay. Well, that answers that question then. It, the one that attacked her did die, so that one must have come from somewhere else. Uh, whoops. Uh, what else have we got? Error. Anisadora Hale. Okay. Anisadora, this is Marshal Waits of Sevastopol. Officially, I should deny your request to dock. Sevastopol is currently being decommissioned, and I can't compromise security for unscheduled vessels. However, in the light of the property you found, I will allow a small number of your crew to dock via a short-range shuttle. I must remind you that Sevastopol is entitled to a cut of any reward for return of said property once it's on station. Mm -hmm. Let me know your decision. Wait up. Okay. Well, so they just wanted a cut of the profits, really. Funny that he said, I'll allow a small number of your crew on board. I mean, it was they only had four of them on the crew anyway, didn't they? Sure. 
That was stupid, Ed. Stupid. You don't beat this thing, Ripley. You can't. All you can do is refuse to engage. You gotta wipe out every trace, destroy any clue, stop its infection from spreading. Make sure there's no chance of the human race ever making contact with it again. Because the moment it makes contact, it's one. The company's never gonna know what happened here. Nobody is. I won't allow it. I mean, you can kind of see his point, but I think uh, whatever he's about to do to achieve that goal is probably going to be uh, um, is probably not going to be good. Shotgun shells, excellent. Okay, so there's no power for that. Hmm. View flight recorder data. Ah, okay. Added report personal message. This is for my daughter. Hi, Amanda. I'm recording this for you, my sweetheart, and I hope you get to hear it one day. You see, I, um, I got into trouble. Um, my ship, there was an accident, sweetheart, and, um, we found an alien creature it was very dangerous. And the only way we could stop it was to destroy the ship. Uh, I'm okay. I'm stuck on this lifeboat, long way out. But we had to destroy the ship. We had to destroy the Nostromo. We just couldn't risk bringing that thing home with us. I needed to protect you. Don't worry. Don't worry about me. I'm sure I'll see you very soon. I love you, sweetheart. Uh. At least let us get to the uh, the turrets to first. We don't have to do this. Don't stop it, Marlo. Marlo, please. You heard what your mother did. She understood. If she was here, she'd be helping me. You think she 
would one company suit not the zip code of that creature? No one must know. Okay, now run away. He's set it going. He's set it going. Oh. Taylor, I'll stop the overload. You have to help me. Go to that console. Warning. Fusion reactor overload in progress. Open the fusion system so I can work on them. What? I need power sent to the auxiliary generator. Look for the letters A U X. Oh, that was close. You did it. Something's happening. I don't understand. Primary systems collapsed. Total system wide cascade failure. Oh, fuck. Marlow forced an overload. The ship's gonna tear itself apart. Warning. Critical collapse. Okay, I guess we just have to... Oh dear. Oh yeah, I remember this now. Well, this went well. Well, that, uh, that went well. Okay. 
I mean, we're quite lucky that she's stuck around, really. She's had no contact from anyone this whole time. She, uh, I mean, it would have been a bit of a, a dick move, but I think a lot of people probably would have maybe left by now, or just, especially when they're seeing explosions and things. Now, where are we? Did we dock in a different place? Welcome to Seeks and Communications. Oh, I know Please where we are. Sign in at reception. Okay. Oh, who's that? You've got company. Seeks and security just came through. Guns in hand, not friendly. I had to hide under a desk. What, what? do they want? The Torrens. They heard the broadcast. They want to contact it. I think they plan on taking it by force. Can they? No. Cons are still out. Stay clear of them, though. They're dangerous and desperate. But why? She literally just said they can take survivors and help people get away. Why? Why try and take the Torrens by force? That makes no sense. Oh. I think I caught fire. Ricardo, Ricardo. Ow. That's annoying. Okay, it's going that way. Ooh. Let's see if I can get this open before they see me. So the creature should could still be around, and or creatures, because we know there's more than one now. And also we've got security to deal with. Axel's jungle entry 340. Right. Got to be quiet now. I found a small hideaway in the space flight terminal. Not exactly five star, but it's cozy enough. I filled the bag with essentials and picked up a few things on the way, making sure I didn't run into anyone. Guns on Sevastopol now. Shooting at shadows. I mean, I have one myself, but I'm not fucking insane. At least, he is secluded, and I'm close to the terminal. So if there is a chance of a ship arriving, I'll get a front seat. Okay, so that was Axel, the guy we met at, right at the beginning. Uh, that's interesting. Okay. 
Okay. So I just got an upgrade to my smoke bombs. I um, wonder if we should make another one because um, with these guys around, smoke bombs might be a good way to uh, uh, to stop them from seeing us. Okay, let's stick to the pipes, I think. Uh, why can't I get in there? That's weird. Okay, I can't get in there. That's okay, we'll have to go this way. If I throw a noisemaker, oh, he's gone that way. Um, will it attract the alien? Oops. Oh, he's coming this way down. waste a pipe bomb. Oop. Oh wait, Molotov. I didn't think I'd have time to get through there. Uh. to go through the middle bit. Although, we didn't die, so it's kind of a miracle. Oh, I can kill them with one shot. Okay, good. I think there was at least three of them though, so I need to be careful. Not 
picking up any movement. Hmm. Oh, there's a guy there. Is he just going to stay there? It's a lot of stuff to redo if I have to... Uh, if, I have, if I die and have to do it again, so I don't want to take any risks, really. Let's see if there's anything in here we can do that might help. Um, okay, is he shooting at me? Okay. As if they don't have any ammo. Come on. Um, okay. Well, that's my shotgun empty. But I think that's all the soldiers. At least in this area. Oh, there might be more in there. Now, if I remember correctly from the last time we were here, there was something... Uh, now then. I thought there was a way to open that, but I can't... Maybe it's this terminal. Oh, there is a guy there. Damn. Oh, maybe we couldn't. We didn't have the right access tuner last time we were here. Okay. Door access, excellent. Right. He seems to be just staring in that direction, so oh Okay. Oh he that Android might take care of some of these soldiers. Excellent. Okay, uh, hmm. So we got one revolver bullet, and we've unleashed an android. Um, I think I've already done everything on this terminal ages ago. Yeah, nothing new. Okay. If I can sneak past him... Oh, there's a guy there as well. They don't seem to be moving, so let's just hope they stay put. Now, 
which way? Oh. Okay, they're looking that way. I think I can get down here. You might hear the door though. Nope. Excellent. Nothing right there. Okay. Um. Okay, this is going well, I think. Could really do with a save point, though. No. Uh, I can't get out. Oh. Has, have these glitched or something? What's going on? Oh, really? Wait. Oh, that's the android seeing that. Okay, well I can't get out of this vent. It's almost like it thinks the door's shut. Uh, let's go back down. Oh, I didn't see that flare there before. I don't think we need any flares, no. Okay. I don't have anything that can Oh, I have a pipe. Oh no, the pipe bombs don't kill those androids, do they? Uh, okay. We're just going to have to do s pure stealth. On the plus side, the androids don't have any ranged weapons and they move quite slowly, so we can probably just outrun it. Ah, there's the other guy. Okay, the android's gone that way. So I can probably just... Ah, shotgun shells. Excellent. I think we've done everything on here as well, but I'll just have a quick check. Uh, I think that was for this door, so I don't think that did anything. Okay. Now, if I remember correctly, there's a save point here. Yep, I can hear it. Ah, okay. That's a relief. Um. Ah, there's Ricardo. Excellent. Okay, that didn't do anything. Oh, okay. I thought I was going to sneeze. Okay. Okay. Listen, Marlowe's permissions are still locked at this terminal. If 
we had the coordinates for the Torrens, we could align the transmitter dishes manually, bypass Apollo completely. There's an observatory near the comms array, right? Yeah. We should be able to find the Torrens coordinates using that. I'll get the door for you. Okay. Oh yeah, last time we were here we had to crawl through the vent there, we came out there, and there was a security camera over there somewhere. Oh. We did go in there last time we were here. Okay, so I guess I just go down the elevator. To comms control. Save there. Okay. Ah, now last time we were here there was a couple of androids. It's suddenly given me a lot of items. Uh, which makes me a bit suspicious. Oh, there's people over there. Damn. Okay. Uh, EMP mine. Okay? Hyper bomb. Hmm. Compound B. Right. What uses compound B? Oh, right, so it's only medkits that use compound B. Uh, mm. Well, we haven't really used any medkits, um, because pretty much any attack kills us instantly. But I did survive a shot just now from one of the security guys, somehow. And I think that might have been the first time we, we'd, we've used a medkit <laughs> in the whole game. Um, I may as well make a few just in case. Okay. Now then. I can't get past the lockdown. I keep on it. That should shut the way. Apollo won't let me in. Try your codes again. Okay. So, there are air vents here that I can use to get down there, but if they're all over there, I might not need to. Yeah, well, you, you would be less alone if you didn't keep killing everyone. Okay. So, we're going to the com array. Shotgun 
Bucket shells, okay. That brings us up to two. Aha! Wow, that's so cool. Um, now what am I doing? Ah. Uh, oh, right. Okay. Thank God. Ricardo, I found them. Now we've got to align the dishes to the Torrance position manually. Jack, I'm going outside. Okay. So there's a poster here for the uh, the tracker. I guess they were using them to track down rats and things on the station. That's interesting. But it explains why why there was a motion tracker lying around. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, let's save. Okay. Oh yeah, of course. Need a spacesuit. Oh, this is so cool. I'd love to go into space. Okay, well I can't run. Um, I guess I just have to walk as quickly as I can. Mm. I like how the sound changes when you're in space. Like you're just hearing everything through vibrations coming into the suit. Uh, I 
guess I go up here. Because um, obviously there wouldn't be sound in space, but if things are clanging against the station and the the causing vibrations, I guess maybe you would hear stuff through the suit if you were uh, in contact with the uh, station. Ah, oh no. I don't have a torch anymore, I can't see a thing. Reboot array clamp controls. Okay. Do we need to power these on? Oh no. That's one of the antennas. Uh, oh, right, I can do this now. Right. I guess I just go back now. Oh, because we, we should be able to enter the coordinates now. Right. Okay. I might speed this up in edit because it takes ages to walk along here. <laughs> So it was thirty five A. Seventy five. Yep. There we go. So that should now move into position. Torrance, Torrance, this is Ripley on the station. 
station. Are you reading me, Verlaine? Ripley, what the hell is going on over there? Bad things, Torrance. There's an alien organism here. It's deadly. We need urgent extraction. A what? There's no time to explain. Please, Verlaine. There's nowhere for us to dock, Ripley. The station's tearing free from its gravity mooring. I've seen a towing platform below the spaceflight terminal, but the Torrance umbilical isn't built for it. You'll need to extend the tow platform clamp station side. Just get into position. Ah, uh, the umbilical thing, yes. Okay. That's that's interesting. Why is there a purple splodge on that radar dish? Hmm. Interesting. Um. Okay, so I just need to head back inside now, I think. Airlock to cycle. There we go. Okay. Well, that went well. Can I save while I'm in my suit? Yeah, let's just save now. Okay. Oh, maybe I should have changed and then saved. Oh well, it doesn't really matter. Look, get ready to move. We're leaving. Ricardo? Ricardo, do you copy? Ricardo, come in. Mm, that's not good. Uh oh. Emergency. Please attend your assigned evacuation point and await instructions. Damn. Well, that's going to make things a bit more tricky. Now, is this idiot here going to shoot at me if I go out there and get us both killed? Oh, he's shooting at the alien. Okay. Um. Well, let's just go for it then, I guess. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. I uh, wonder how far I can throw a noisemaker.
it's not reacting at all. Oh wait, it is investigating. Okay. Oh, that didn't go where I wanted it to go. <laughs> Damn. stay in the vent too long because oh hell damn huh. okay well that was bad timing uh, let's just Where's the guy that it just killed? Oh. going to keep going round in circles. Yep. And now it's just going to stand there. Oh crap. I think it may have just seen me.
Um, Okay, getting out of here might be a little tricky. Oh, it's there. Deal. I'm going to save there, but I have a horrible feeling it might just come back in the next few seconds. Okay. Oh, but there's still one there. That's not good. Ricardo. Ah. Oh. Ricardo. Poor Ricardo. Oh no. Okay, it went up there. Um, this way is quicker, but there's nowhere to hide. Why is that music playing? That sounds like chase music. Babe. Uh, okay, I heard it behind me. I don't want to get in a... 
a loop of being killed over and over, so let's let's not save. Oh, it heard that. There he is. <clears throat> oh, this never works. Oh. Oh, okay, it didn't do the hold, hold breath thing. Yeah, go away. That was interesting. Why was it? Why was it running? It didn't seem like it had seen me because it would have just ripped open the the thing. Oh, hell. Okay, I thought it would have run away. down up there. So with any luck... Oh no, it's gone back up. It's gonna drop down down here somewhere. I should probably go this way. So there's a bit more cover. Oh, it'll let me get into this vent. It wouldn't let me climb out of it before. Earlier on. Can I lock him in there? No.
just yep go that way Oh, damn. Okay, let's try a noisemaker. and then just hope that I've got enough time to get around here. trying to get to. Oops. Uh, find a way to Solomon's habitation tower. Okay. Okay. I think I've I think I've taken a bit too long on this episode to be honest. So let's uh, let's maybe find a save point and then we'll call it a day. trying to get to the ho habitation tower so I guess we just need to get to the uh, uh, the transit part. oh yeah we never did go in here maybe I should do that now actually let's just save first oh and I never got in there either Okay, um, I'm going to save before I do anything, before I do anything risky. That's that open. Chief here. As requested, I've resubmitted my report for the removal of the transit system for use elsewhere. Once the Bastopol's been closed off, I still don't see how it's possible. I know Seekson is trying to recoup as much investment as it can on this place, but the thing is trashed. Junctions have rusted through, major safety protocols have been ignored for years. It's a wreck. Nothing short of a miracle has stopped it killing off half the population. Hmm. Oh, right, you can't go up or down that ladder. Okay.
Okay, let's go back through here. Oh, it didn't blow up. Okay. Uh, so the last time I tried to come in here, there was an explosion. And then an android came and killed us. Hmm. Okay, well it doesn't seem like there's any need to go in there, so... So we want the habitation tower. Which is here. Well I'm tempted just to double check up here. obviously been in there. Okay. So we need to get to the communications place. Okay. We'll call it there, I think, for episode 15. Um, I think we're pretty close to the end, so episode 16 might be the last one, or, or we might it might be 16, 17, something like that. But um, I'm pretty sure we're, we're close to the end now. Um, so, things are going well. Uh, well, sort of going well. I mean, we've lost Ricardo, we've lost Waits, we've lost Taylor, um, and Samuels. So, I suppose things aren't really going well at all. Um, in fact, they're going pretty, pretty poorly. But, um, we're surviving, and, uh, with any luck, we're gonna get off of this place, uh, on the Torrens soon. Um, so, yeah. I suppose the only other person who's survived so far is Verlaine. Um, but she hasn't, she hasn't been on the station, so. Um, so, yeah. Um, pretty, <laughs> pretty bleak, I suppose. But uh, on the plus side, if the station does fall into the gas giant and get destroyed, at least it'll take all the aliens with it. So, um, I guess now our only priority really is to uh, do the thing with the umbilical so that we can get onto the torrents and then just get the hell away from here. So, all that to come in the next episode. See you next time. <laughs>